Hi everyone and welcome back to Kids Church Online. It's so good to have you back for another week and I hope that you are having an awesome day. Today we're going to be finishing our journey through the book of Acts. It's been so much fun to see how the Holy Spirit was working in the early church and is still working today and to see how nothing can stop God's plan. Now we're all got our suitcases packed, we're ready to go because we are going to be going on the grand tour of the rest of the book of Acts. So I hope you're all ready too. But before we get to this exciting journey, we're going to sing a song first and pray together. So let's all pray. Dear God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word and the book of Acts. We pray that you help us to keep carrying out your mission and telling everyone about Jesus. Amen. So I want you all to jump up on your feet now and we're going to sing a fun song together. Hey Sarah, we're looking pretty cool today. Do you know what's even cooler? What? One, two, three, four. <laughs> tell you to do on an aeroplane because we're about to buckle in for a really exciting story and journey through the rest of Acts on our grand tour of the book of Acts. So let's get started. The grand tour of the end of Acts. Paul was traveling around telling everyone about Jesus. Some people didn't like what he was saying and doing so they complained and had Paul thrown in jail. Paul was in the prison cell chained to a block of wood but he was praying and singing to God. There was a large earthquake in the jail and the guard was worried that all the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, we are still here. The guard was very happy at this and listened to what Paul had to say and he came to believe in Jesus. Paul had been going on a great journey all over the place telling everyone about Jesus. Not everyone believed the good news, but many did. Paul went on another great journey to tell even more people about Jesus and ended up in Jerusalem. Some of the people in Jerusalem were not happy with what Paul had been saying about Jesus. They kept trying to get him in trouble. And they tried again. And again. But Paul was telling the truth and had done nothing wrong. But they kept arresting him. So many people were trying to get him into trouble that Paul was going to go to Rome to talk to the emperor. 
On the way to Rome, his boat got caught in a really bad storm. He got shipwrecked on an island. While on this island, he was bitten by a snake. Paul eventually got off the island and made it to Rome. He was allowed to live in a house by himself with a soldier to guard him. For two years, Paul stayed there and welcomed everyone who came to see him. He bravely preached about God's kingdom and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. And no one tried to stop him. Wow, that was such an exciting story. I hope that you enjoyed our grand tour through the book of Acts. Now in this story, we saw that there was lots of people or things trying to stop Paul from spreading God's word about Jesus. Let's see if you can remember them. Well, Paul was thrown in prison a lot, but the, did that stop God's plan? No. In fact, when Paul was in prison, he wrote a lot of the letters to churches that we have in the Bible today. So that didn't work. Mm, there was angry crowds and they were the ones that were trying to put Paul in prison. But the, did that stop Paul? Of course not. What else? Well, there was a big storm on a boat that led to Paul being shipwrecked on an island. Did that stop God's plan? No, even a snake biting Paul's hand didn't stop God's plan. And at the end, we saw that Paul just continued to spread God's word. So what have we learnt? Nothing can stop God's plan. Paul was telling everyone, everywhere he went on all of his journeys, he would first go to the Israelites and then he would go to the Gentiles. Now, lots of people were believing in Jesus, that he is king and the way to be saved, and others weren't. But do you think those people who didn't believe would stop God's plan? Of course not, because nothing can stop God's plan. Now, the big important thing we've been looking at is what does this mean for me? Well, is the book of Acts, when that ends, is that the end of the Bible? No. We've got all of these other books that tell us amazing things about God and about our faith. What about at the end of Revelation? That's the last book of the Bible. Is that the end of God's plan? All done, all finished? No, his plan is still continuing today. And we as the church of Oak Tree and as the church across the world have a very special job. We are continuing God's plan. We are continuing God's mission. So Paul's mission, my mission, your mission is to keep telling everyone about our King Jesus who has risen from the dead and is the way to be saved. So we're going to do a fun craft now together, but I've really enjoyed seeing you all and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Welcome to our craft corner. Today's craft is this. We're making a world and then with paper chain people around it. And it says, our mission is to tell everyone about King Jesus. Now for this craft today, you'll need some paper. You can have either plain white paper and color it in, or you can have some blue and green paper. You need something that is a circle, like a bowl. You need some colored pencils, a strip of paper to be your people, some scissors, a glue stick, and that's it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a piece of paper, get your circular object, and then draw around it. Next, what you want to do is take your scissors and cut it. Then what you have is your nice blue circle. You're going to want to next take your green paper and cut out some shapes with your scissors to be like the continent or the land on our planet. And it should look something a bit like this. Now, if you remember back to last week's craft, we made people in a chain like this. You fold it all the way out and there's lots of little people now what you might need to do is cut them so they're a bit shorter and they fit on your weld. And then what we're going to do 
So we are going to write somewhere up the top, in a nice bright colour, the words, our mission. Just like that. And then what you want to do across here is write is to tell everyone about King Jesus. So now your craft reads, our mission is to tell everyone about King Jesus. And you can stick your people down around the world to remind you that our mission is to let everyone in the world know about King Jesus. I hope you all have fun making this craft together.